Well, what's going on YouTube world? Um, just making a little video because um, I don't really have anything going on kind of at the moment. Well, at least nothing that I'm filming. Um, I've been into uh, several projects here lately and um, you know, just, just busy with, with a lot of things like that. I've been busy with work and Oh, and just you know the busy with the house and all that kind of thing so I haven't really had a lot of time to do much on YouTube as much as I would like to but um, I have been working on a few things and I have been um, you know several projects so in this video I just want to go over a few projects that I've been working on and a couple of things that I may actually introduce to the channel but I'm not sure yet it, it all depends on the feedback if I get some feedback on this new thing that I'm kind of getting into then uh, then I'll feature a little bit of that on the channel but the first thing that I will eventually make a video of uh, pretty much like a review and 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 how well this particular thing is I did pick up the 124th scale trail finder 2 recently whew. and whew, well I don't want I don't want to fit there but as you can see <laughs> it is pretty cool um, I actually picked this up for my daughter because she loves daddy's red truck she was kind of upset because her little RC's couldn't really go where even though that thing there is only 40 bucks and it's from Walmart and it's very impressive. I highly recommend picking one up. It's very fun. But anyways, it cannot go where this thing goes and she was kind of upset. And since she really likes daddy's red truck, I got her her very own red truck. So it's actually, it, it's pretty cool. I mean, it does not do bad at all for what it is it really don't but I will put more on that truck in another video I'll make here before too long and actually where I'm living now there's a lot of uh, car shows and events and things like that that go on that actually have plastic model car shows which is totally cool because I have some and a, a, you know a few others that I'm still currently working on that I haven't messed with since way before I even moved. Here are just uh, just a couple, or just a few that um, um, that I picked up. Of course, uh, this is actually uh, the, the model, the kit is actually a 74 GTX, but it is a Plymouth satellite to me. And this is the exact car I rode in when I was just a kid with my dad. Same color, same wheels, tires, everything. The interior as I remember it, you know, it's pretty cool. So I made that one to, to be just like my dad's car. This one here is actually a car that he started probably when he was a teenager and never finished it. Well, I finished it. That's why it's in that plastic as well. And then, of course, I got a real nice Roadrunner here that, um, you know, will be in one of the local car shows here. But let's head down to the garage. Let me show you a couple other little things that uh, I've been working on at least. Dangerous Art by Sean. The garage, definitely my most favorite part of the house. <laughs> yes, I have plenty of light. <laughs> oh, and uh, brought the jet bike home. <laughs> so one of the things I've been working on have been the Corolla. Um, I had to do a few things to it. Um, I just had to put a battery in it. I put one in it in 2016 and you know that battery finally went bad so I had to put a battery in there but it did a little bit more touch up painting here and there the grill always seems to be a favorite for people um, well there's something on it there which uh, you know it is a it is a pretty popular grill to have on these and I actually do let's see if it'll focus in there we go I actually do the bed armor the dupli color dupli color bed armor paint on it so it gives it that nice little texture, looks pretty good. I painted that black years ago, but it was chipping and looking like crap, so I redone that. I also added some uh, amber colored uh, fog lights, and I also put the amber bulbs 
LED bulbs in there as well, so it makes it kind of nice. And this whole top piece was just absolutely hideous, and it was completely gray, faded so bad. And I did Ultimate Black Plastic Restorer on it once before, and literally it is that much of a difference. It really does work, but it's so temporary, and then when it fades again, it fades even worse than what it was. So I went ahead and painted it, and again, see if this thing will focus. I did the bed armor. I also did the um, wiper arms as well. I did finally get around to uh, painting those wheels. As you can see, they look a lot better. Well, the front ones do because the front ones were not in bad shape anyways. But the back ones, if you remember one of my previous videos, these things were paint, spray painted silver. So I had to do a little bit of paint stripper on it, try to clean them off a little bit. And then I just went ahead and repainted them. Um, but it don't look too bad. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh yeah. And a lot of you, of course, probably recognize this from uh, one of my most popular videos uh, of my CRV in the snow. Um, this is the roof basket from my CRV because unfortunately I do not have that CRV anymore. I wish I still did. It sure would be nice to still have it to play, you know, to go out and play with and things like that and take on trips and stuff, um, which is what it was great for. But unfortunately, I just needed something else. I needed a truck, you know, I needed, I needed a truck desperately, I needed a bit of haul, a few things. And of course, you know, the truck has already more than paid itself off for everything that I've had to do with it since I got this truck. So literally sold the CRV to buy the truck. So speaking of the truck, I ended up having to put a new filler neck in this because as you can see there, brand new, um, the old one was rusted out so bad that when I would put fuel in it right there at the bend, the fuel would soak through the metal and drip on the ground. It was getting pretty bad. So I had to replace it. That, out of all honesty, was a very easy job. And there are a ton of how-to videos on how to replace that on this exact truck. Shoot, even the same color on YouTube. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to make the same video everyone else does. There's too many of them out there. And what's the likelihood of mine being a small channel that that video actually uh, makes it and does anything so I'm like yeah let me just knock this out and get it done with get done with it you know what I mean so here is one of my latest projects um, I bought a CNC laser engraver um, I bought this particular one it's not the one that I wanted but I got this one for relatively cheap because it was actually on a Amazon palette there is a guy here in town that buys Amazon pallets for cheap and then sells everything off the Amazon pallets and he just happened to get one of these sold it to me for a reasonable price and what I have been doing is yeah I've been doing a little bit of you know engraving and wood and stuff like that just kind of playing around um, nothing kind of too interesting with wood or whatever let's see that one there that came out pretty good stranger things logo but what I've mostly been engraving is slate coasters slate coasters seems to engrave really really nicely with this thing and well it's relatively easy once you finally get them centered enough and um, you know and you're able to get the the image center on the coaster then it makes it nice. So this one here, this is just kind of like a heart and roses. Um, so I've been making some round ones and I've also been making some square ones. Now I'm not going to get into too much details on a lot of the images that I have here. Most of them, uh, you know, seems like American flags and things like that seem to be the popular ones. The ones that people like the most. This one is a mountain, an American flag. You know, these are pretty cool. We the people with... Um, soldiers and of course I can make things with my YouTube channel logo 
as well as a few other channels that some people may know about. Some West Virginia logos, Maryland. So the Slate Coasters have been, uh, it's been a pretty fun little project. Um, you know, haven't sold any or nothing like that. Um, I've actually made a few uh, a, a few sets for a few people, um, you know, friends, family, stuff like that, and just, and I've basically been giving them away as gifts so far. I would like to start making these and, um, uh, you know, selling them, selling them as a set, or you, I can sell them just single, you know, as a little, as a novelty item or something like that. If they just want one single coaster with one logo or something like that on it or picture or whatever, you know, something like that's cool too, but, uh, it's, it's been a real nice thing. You know, I, I'm getting kind of getting an early start on Christmas gifts. So pretty much this year, the gifts that I'll be given will probably be a set of slate coasters with you know, whatever that's r related to the person that I'm giving them to. So, so it's kind of a cool idea. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything I'm, I've been working on except for, you know, just things around the house, stuff like that. And, um, so, uh, if you would like to see more content with, uh, um, laser, um, etching on some slate coasters, um, either drop some comments or, Get a hold of me on social media. Um, let me know something, because if if that content actually is something that people would be interested in seeing, um, you know how it works, and you know the things that you can put on it and stuff like that. Or if you have some logos, like say you want your YouTube YouTube logo uh, put on a set of coasters for your you know for, for your bar or something like that, or your shop or you know in your studio, whatever, something like that. Cool, man. Uh, Drop me some info um, or get a hold of me in any way that you know that you can get a hold of me. And, uh, you know, we'll exchange some information and uh, I'll get you some coasters made. So, uh, but that's pretty much it. I am going to hop off of here and, uh, well, I got a few other things to do and I will see you in the next video.